I frequently have to haul stuff in my local area. To not feel bad every time I use my car for that, I built this bike trailer and I'm going to show you how. I'm Marty and welcome to my channel. I started looking for models online and there are quite a few of them. However, many of them are cheaply made or not big enough for my purpose. Except the really nice trailers from the German company Hinterher, but they also come at a premium price. So I set off with the task to build one myself. How hard could it be, right? The main things I needed were wheels, an axle, the drawbar and the coupler. It seemed obvious to reuse an old bike trailer for children as they share many, if not all, of these parts. After some thought I bought one with a broken suspension for 30 euro. The design I went with is similar to the models of Hinterher. I wanted it to be wide and long enough to fit three euro boxes. That meant 60 by 120 centimeters, as one box is 40 by 60. It's quite something for a bike trailer. So I got this sealed non-slip plywood that had the perfect size to accommodate for a bit of margin between the boxes and the border of the trailer. For this border, I used angle profiles made of galvanized steel with pre-drilled holes. Those are typically used for constructing shelves. I brought them into form by simply cutting into and bending them 90 degrees. Letting these overlap a bit gives the corner additional strength. Thankfully, two of these angle profiles would exactly match the holes when wrapped around the plywood allowing for exactly the right amount of overlap to give it extra stiffness. After that, I secured the border with screws to the plywood and attached the axle with two angles each. Use securing nuts here to prevent them from rattling loose while driving. The basic trailer was done, now I had to find a way to attach it to my bike. Luckily, the trailer I bought already had a coupler that attaches to the rear axle of my bike. To get the drawbar connected to the trailer, I used a square tube of 30mm aluminum that fits perfectly over the drawbar. With those holes drilled out, the drawbar is securely connected to the side of the trailer. In this position, the trailer will run almost centered behind my bike. Another idea I got from the models of Hinterher was to use the drawbar as a handle when the trailer is not attached. I made the same part out of aluminum square tube again and attached it to the front of the frame. This works pretty well and I can switch the position of the drawbar quickly. Although I will improve this because having it attached to the frame is a bit wobbly. I will bend an angle to the correct degree and secure it directly to the base. Last but not least are the reflectors at the front and back to get this thing road legal. Those also came from the old trailer and fit just perfectly into the holes of the frame. And just like that, the trailer is done. Now let's see how much it weighs. That's roughly 15 kilograms. Not bad considering the perfectly CNC'd models from Hinterher made from aluminum are only 2 kilograms lighter. Next up was a test drive. I took it a few kilometers on the road and the trailer runs very calmly and almost centered behind the bike. I'll let you enjoy this view for a moment. As for securing a cargo, that's what the four hooks in the corners are for. Normal ratchet straps can easily be attached here to hold even big things in place. When elevated like here with boxes, even standard Euro pallets can be transported. Although, with two of them, you will soon wish to have an electric bike when a hill is coming up. And that's the trailer done. Now for the cost. The trailer itself cost me 30 Euro. The plywood was 21.40, the steel angle profiles 5 each, 
the aluminum tube 7 and another 10 for screws and hooks. Some things like the angles I still had lying around, so I'm not gonna count these. That sums up to around 80 euro. Now to the spare parts I didn't need from the trailer. Those small wings for the front wheels and the handle I sold for 25. Another 25 I got for the front wheels themselves. The storage compartment I sold for 15 and the seat belts for 8. The two springs for 10 each and two aluminum rails for 5. That means I made 98 euro from all the parts I didn't need. So far, some stuff is still left. So I'm still 18 euro in the plus. I think I will spend those on a stand so that the trailer doesn't tip to the front when it's not attached. This will also make loading it much easier. What do you think would make for a good addition to the trailer? Have you done something similar or have some improvements for me? Let me know in the comments. Also, if this video entertained or inspired you, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'm Marty and I'll see you soon.